All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. My name is Creepers. I'm here today to sort of speak about Lex. Um, I think Lex has many different ways to play, but not everybody knows what they are. And as such, they always tend to think like, oh, you know, Lex is just one spammy boy. He's really bad. And he only knows how to spam. Technically speaking, based on his kit, that's pretty much it. They changed the weapons a few time ago and, you know, I kind of don't like what we have now. I would prefer to have the old uh, Lex, you know, the short, not short, sorry, slow uh, shots, pretty much, of his weapons. It didn't have a, a, a very fast fire rate like it has right now, okay. It wouldn't have something like this, it would have something like this. But the weapon itself was stronger as well, right? Both weapons uh, were doing a lot more damage than, than now. So, and they also increased the ammo. Basically kind of forcing us into, you know, now you can just spam it. Spam all you want. I mean, they did the same thing with Anjo, and to be quite honest, I didn't like to any of them. I just didn't. I just didn't like for any of them. I just felt that the old Anjo and the old Lex were... So much better, required a lot more skill, a lot more aim. It was better, it was different, you know? So, if one day we get to see it back, I would love to see it. But for now, we're we're stuck with this, okay? So, here's what I'm going to do. In this same video, I'm going to show you two different loadouts. Alright, two different loadouts that I created. One is for infinite dashes, and the second one is for pretty much, like, a lot of damage and a lot of lifesteal, okay? Okay? One of them is more sustained and also allows you to do more damage. The other one is a little bit more mobile. So what's going to happen is, for example, I'm going to show you the one that I'm talking about, the infinite dashes, as long as you're shooting, of course. Uh, you're going to have to go heroism, and then the loadout that I created was this one. It doesn't mean you have to use this exact same loadout. You can use a, di a totally different loadout. But as long as you have these two cards right here, you're going to be able to do what I'm about to do. So we just go... And here near the bots, I'm gonna leave third person and I'm gonna go full screen because you, in case you guys don't play in full screen, I advise you to because you're gonna lose a lot more, I think it's latency and frames uh, for not being in full screen, okay? So pretty much the cards itself, let me just show you one final time. This card right here, anytime that I just land a shot, it doesn't matter if it's on pursuit, all right, in pursuit, in pursuit, sorry, in pursuit or in normal shooting you're going to reduce 25%. Now, this has a four second cooldown, right? So what would happen if I were to do this? That's exactly what would happen. As long as you're shooting, of course, you have to reload. So, as you can see here, you can just infinitely dash as long as you land shots. Of course, the on pursuit also works, as you're gonna see right now. Let me just, let me just, yeah, there we go. Just go full, full health. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the dash, and I'm gonna do in pursuit. So as you saw, as you, as you're seeing right now, it does reduce as well. Now, I'm not entirely sure if it reduces with uh, deployables and shields. I'm pretty sure it does. I'm just not entirely sure right now. I'm not going to I'm not gonna say a, a com you complete, you know, 100% yes. Uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to be playing two team dead matches after I'm showing you this. Uh, so we can actually see which one is better. And, you know, look, you get a little bit of a taste in sort of gameplay how it actually feels to either play one or play the other. I'm not going to go with any parties. I'm not going to go like, you know... A pocket healer or anything because that's not realistic uh, so I'm just gonna go straight up normal with both loadouts this is the one where you pretty much just dash every time you're shooting okay you're gonna have a lot more dashes and not to mention that you get 90% damage reduction and also CC immunity while dashing not just that every time you dash you get extra speed for a little while and there it goes it just slowed down right now 
can see the speed and then it slows down there we go okay so this is what this loadout is all about but what about the damage loadout some people may use death hastens i don't know how you pronounce that uh, but i found discovery to be incredibly strong it is insane the way that this talent works and i'm just gonna say this right now if you're thinking of doing a 1v1 right where you can choose whatever talent you whatever champion and talent whatever you, whatever you want to go go with this and go with this loadout right here uh these cards are pretty much just based on my play style but as long as you have this card with five points and you're playing 1v1 what's gonna have and happen is you're in the match with this person right it's the only person there mean uh, this means that that person will always be your target but every time they die if you don't die it doesn't reset since it does take away 15 seconds out of this which is the cue to change the target um you just kill it and immediately as soon as you kill it just as soon as you kill it press q and then it will as soon as he gets uh respawn you know as soon as he responds you're gonna get him again on target as for a 1v1 situation you can imagine how broken this is you're gonna be able to see him through the walls you're gonna have 50 percent lifesteal which is incredibly stupid and you're also gonna have 30 percent more damage to that person with a target so this doesn't just go for 1v1s as long as you're you know hunting the target and in case the target is just like maybe a tank or you can't kill that person it's too way in the back just change the target try to get an, a perfect target for you in this case i think the target's over there i'm not entirely sure anymore I just get confused with these marks yeah but that's the one okay so i want to try to change it to the cassie one of the cassies so i could get i'm not gonna get it right now but basically just imagine that i'm taking damage 50 percent as you see right there it's the thing healing me look at the damage i'm doing in long range look at the damage of course the faster you go the more accuracy you lose all right little heads up some people don't know this you see these little symbols on top of people this means your your ultimate is ready but can you use it to kill it no why because it's not under 65 percent if you shoot her enough to go below 65 percent this little eagle or symbol is going to appear underneath and there it goes it disappeared this means that it's not an insta kill you can also see this little white bar around the health that means that as long as it's below that that means you can kill it instantly with the ultimate now i know that a lot of people have been wondering how did the changes to the ultimate now not slowing down and actually destroy shields how it actually works let me just give you a small example the other day i was playing on a game with yoshino he was doing a stream as random picks you, you know you wouldn't pick the champion whoever champion you would get that would be it and i got lex for some goddamn reason and the enemy team we got a barrack the barrack every time that he ulted i ulted his ult would go away so you can see how broken it is right now that's a goddamn doom shield with almost like thirty thousand health and you can instantly delete it you know that you know people may say oh but wouldn't it be better to just kill the person i mean the shield itself is not it's not allowing you to kill barrick as long as he stays inside and if possible he's even healing himself while he's in there it forces you to go inside and take the damage from the flamethrower destroying it automatically barrick is exposed imagine the barrick just use it as ultimate trying to survive guess what you don't have it anymore just use it so these are pretty much the two different loadouts that i'm going to be using i'm going to show you again this loadout you can change it completely i just go with this one activating in pursuit generate six ammo just in case there is a person running away i can just generate those six ammo last second possible and then try to spam it and try to kill him every shot within pursuit heals me it's just a little bit of sustainability not too much i think the life steal actually will apply it here uh, here as well i'm not entirely sure you can actually see that right now if i use the in pursuit yep it does heal okay so the life steal goes into the goddamn in pursuit so pretty much he's he's almost like leon where pretty much all, all of his attacks which are only two are basically possibly even applying cauterize let's see yep the in pursuit also applies cauterize so as you can see it's pretty broken so we're gonna hop into different team dead matches 
The video is going to be pretty long, but I just want to share the two different loadouts for Lex and how they actually apply with, you know, with the talents and and in game with gameplay. So I'll see you guys there in a couple seconds. All right, we're about to get into a match. Of uh, this is actually a good uh, thing for me because there's no healer on our team. That means that the enemy team is probably not going to go for cauterize. So that's going to allow me to go with the damage. I'm going to go with this. I'll get 50% lifesteal on the retribution target. So getting lifesteal is not going to help me a lot to the retribution target. But you can still, you know, sort of imagine that when it's not a retribution target that you're fighting, you're going to be able to get some lifesteal from any person you're fighting. Of course, it's going to cap at 60% for... There we go. Okay. So the Kanasa got the ultimate. This is one of the bad things here with these people on this game. Is that they always rush for the boost. When probably their boost is not the best possible. Alright, we got two targets. I may want to run from here. I don't have any heals. And I'm I'm, dying. I'm dead. Yeah, there we go. I think the, the Janus is going binary star. Yes, he is. Okay, so that's not helpful at all. He's going to be able to act like a, a damage, so to speak. I'm going to get out of there because of the the Imani. She's going to throw a frost bomb over there. I want to get close to my team as well. So my target right now is Janos. I want to try to get one of the flanks. Didn't get the, the flank I wanted, but I'll take it. See the money went over there. I'm gonna try to regroup with my team. The extra damage definitely helps, but the problem is I haven't been fighting my retribution target. So I wanna try to change it as soon as possible. That's one of the things I hate about this, is that sometimes they will give you the same target you have. And so until somebody kills the Kinesa, I'm pretty much screwed. So there she is. Alright, I was trying to kill the money. Got a little bit greedy there. I've gotta get caught rest. Let's go. I got the retribution target, so not just need to kill Zen and keep going. Okay, okay, all right. Need to get the hell out of there. It's over. My team is just stacking up for the frost bomb of Imani. It's not really good. I'm waiting for Barrack to use his ult now. Because I want to use the ultimate on his ultimate so you guys can have an idea how it works. We're kind of losing here, but it's more to show than actually to win. So, he's probably going to use it right now. Nope. I'm guessing... No, oh, the barrack doesn't have anything. This map is really not ideal for this type of thing. Okay, our retribution target just died. I'm just checking if I'm on full screen. Okay, we have our... And my aim kind of sucks, by the way. There we go. Kinesis is gonna try to shoot her. Shoot us. Gonna oh, 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 okay. Smart, she was smart. Okay, my bad. I didn't thought she was gonna teleport after me. She's basically flanking. Who do I have to kill? Imani. I really wanted to see the barrack using his ult so I could use it. You may use it now. You just used it. God damn it, I missed it. My aim is kind of bad. I'm sometimes I really lazy. I'm actually going to get this. The more healing items that we get, the more they're the more they're going to get cauterized and I don't really want that cuz I already have Oh, 
All right, we're actually doing this. And boy, that headshot felt so good. I gotta run away. Nope, nope, I'm dead. He dashed all the way to me. I'm probably gonna get some kill to heal. That never ha never hurts and actually helps a lot. Yeah, we lost. That was pretty much obvious. No healer, no nothing. They had a lot of the burst damage as well. Um, Ikanasa was actually pretty good. She was flanking a lot. I was not expecting that. So now we're going to be trying to hop into another TDM. But this time we're going with the infinite dashes to see which one of them is better. I'm believing somehow that this one is better. The one that I just used. But we also have to get in our minds that, uh, you know, it, it's situational. It, it depends on situation. If you really need a lot of damage, then definitely you have to go with that. this one that I just went but if you want to, you know, get a little bit more mobility because there's too much mobility or maybe there's just too many... Let me just give you a perfect example. First of all, we did pretty good as a flank and, the, you know, Kanasa and Imani did a lot of... Uh, and they did a lot better than me, but we're still the best flank even without a healer. I guess you can sort of see the potential here. Uh, we almost did more damage than the damages, so pretty good. Let's hop into another match, and while we're waiting, I'm just going to talk this really quick. Imagine the following. Um, there's a Makoa. There's a Khan. They're big, big targets, right? So it's going to e be easy to hit shots and constantly just uh, spam on them. So imagine that the Makoa and the Khan now, because the Khan, the Khan now has his uh, ultimate change, they're going to be trying to get you. They're going to be trying to grab you. They're going to be trying to hook you or use their ultimate. So... The dashing may actually be better. It's really hard to try to time the dash, for example, for a frost bomb of the money, but it's not impossible. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I, I, before you guys ask, I'm only using the skin because it's, you know, it's exclu it's pretty much exclusive. Not everybody has it, uh, so I might as well just go with it. Like, why not, right? So, um, if you're playing a siege match and there is definitely uh, two tanks, which are really high tar big targets, you easy to hit. You're probably going to be easier, easily. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to rephrase that. It's probably going to be easier for you to dash and shoot, dash and shoot, because you're definitely going to hit something with so big targets, right? So definitely, that's something to consider. I know that this video is probably already almost like to the 20 minute mark or something but it's more to compare the speed the i'm not even gonna call it speed i'm gonna call it mobility mobility or damage mobility or damage lex that will be the title of the video let's go so there's a makoa so straight up that is actually good for us okay heroism infinite dash life rip and now with life rip being so much cheaper, it's actually better to get it. We got uh, Ceres as our target. I'd actually want to try to get somebody else as our target, so I'm going to change it right away. There we go. Zen. Pretty good. Okay. Zen is coming over here, but there's somebody else over there as well with him. Yeah, there it is. Makoa. They're waiting. They're smart. All right, I'm actually going to be trying to flank here. Oh. Oh, we're locking ourselves up here. I want to move around. Yeah, there we go. Damage reduction will probably will not save you because of a Makoa. Definitely not. Okay, so the shields do. I missed all, almost every shot there. Again, I don't like to play spammy champions, but what could you... What you gonna do? I was trying to destroy the mine in order to then dash to the left and not be killed by it.
You can also cancel in pursuit. Nope. Makoa, leave me alone. Big target, big target, big target. I'm just coming into the middle of the fight. Probably not ideal to be here. We already got marked by the Tyra. Not good. Oh, okay. See, that's why you don't want to get marked by the Tyra. She was hun she's hunting parties. So the Kanasa, easy targets right there. You can also destroy that shield of Makoa, but it's not... Like, it has a timer, so... I think they should put a, ta um, a talent for Makoa where he could just... Oh, really? That just happened. And that just happened too. I was trying to dash the other way. Thank you, game. Got her. I gotta also be aware of my surroundings. We got a Kanessa right there. There we go. I think he's going Yomi. Ah, this is not going good. It's not going good. I just don't play Alex a lot, guys. So excuse me for my shitty gameplay. It's not all about the gameplay now. It's more about showing how it works. No! I see him. Does he see me? Oh, he does see me! Oh my god. That just happened. I got out of ammo! <laughs> and I also got revealed, so I'm gonna have to wait here a bit. I knew that was gonna happen. So this guy, Nessa, and this Tyra are both working together that's not ideal they're partying so should I just go yeah all right there we go sort of work don't ask me how we want him to use the shield we're not, we're not supposed. And we died. Okay. Just going to go call Ryzen right now. I should have gone from the start. They have a healer. We don't. As you can see here, it destroys the shields and I got sniped by somebody by a person who was trying to snipe someone else, but okay. Nope, nope, try and run for you. Do I challenge Makua? I can try. And we lost. Okay. Not very ideal. <laughs> Kanessa was actually pretty good. Which was not ideal since there was a tower just marking people. I see a lot of people actually using Kanessa nowadays. So it's actually weird to see this. But... I know that she was always been strong, and I know that some somehow she's probably stronger than Strix, even to run away, to flank, and so on. I just can't play with her life, like the the, the playstyle of Kanessa is not for me, and so is Lex. I literally don't like Lex, as you can see her. Our Kanessa did less damage, and we did, uh, we did die more than her. She's not a flank. We did more damage than the other flank. More kills, died less. So. This game wasn't the perfect match.
But you guys can understand sort of what I'm trying to show you. I'm not trying to show you like the best match in the world with Lex. I'm not a Lex man. I don't know how to play Lex. The question is, I do know about his loadouts and probably the ways to play. So if I have to play Lex, I am prepared. And the same thing should happen to you guys. Now, I'm not advising you to go Lex on competitive. Please don't. Okay? If you don't know how to play Lex, then don't. Just go and train him. I've seen some people who have played Lex for a lot, a lot, a lot of time, and they know how to play with Lex, okay? So, definitely, definitely please train with him. Train these two different loadouts, shift them a little bit to your liking, and also uh, try to use these two talents at least. And if you have a perfect loadout for this, you can always let me know down in the comments below, because I just can't see if it is actually good. I mean... We can try to go with this and lifesteal and then cauterize together. It will make you pretty damn strong, to be quite honest. I mean, it's to every single target. And not to mention that, uh, you know, the, the law, the ultimate, actually kills people below 65%. So, you see what I mean? Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's up to you guys. You guys try, me get, try to get me a loadout in the comments below. If this helped you, also let me now know down in the comments below. And drop a like if it actually helped you or not. And hopefully I'm going to be seeing some more Lexes out there playing the game. Like, it's not that I would like to see that, but definitely all champions should have a little bit of love. And Lex should have that. And probably Moji is next. So, thank you so much for watching. That'll be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys. See you next time.